Welcome, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to the very first episode of the Throttle Out Show. I'm joined by two of my very best friends. I'll go ahead and introduce them now. First of all, we are talking about a man who moved to Tampa, Florida on a hope and a dream that he was going to make it in this business. A man who drove the BKT Monster Ride Truck. And a man who's one of my very best friends, ladies and gentlemen, Austin Spence. What's going then, on, man? And then we've got another man who turned out to be the very first ever homosexual crew chief for the El Toro Loco <laughs> Monster Jam truck. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, my good friend, Matt Cummings. Thank you for having me. Here we go. And I'm not that gay. Not that. Not good. that. Not that. There's a line. We just need to find it. I guess yeah. we'll find out tonight. <laughs> and uh, friends, I'm just. My name's Austin. I've been in the monster truck industry for a while now. But enough about me. We're just gonna get right down to it. We are gonna be recapping the first uh, Monster Jam Stadium Tour of the Year Stadium Series 2021. And the show started out in Houston, Texas. What was it, three weekends in a row? Is that right? God, Paul? yeah, like three weekends in a row. Three weekends in a row. And today, especially, they had two stadium shows today. And uh, Austin, I don't know if you've had much experience with this or not. Matt, I know you have when we go overseas and we do these two stadium shows a day. Damn it, dude. We're talking about a lot of damage, not just only on the trucks, but the drivers, the crew guys, and you know, the people in the office are they're saying, hey, it's, it's hard on us as well. And uh, that's what they did down in Houston today. Two stadium shows back to back. Um, and then today's show, I believe you got all the recaps for tonight. Nice. Nice. Harley's handing me some juicy info right now. Fresh off the press. Freestyle <laughs> champion for tonight. Bari Musauer and Zombie. One freestyle down in Houston. Congrats, Bari. Way to go, bud. All right. All right. Good on Bari. Yeah. And then with, let's see, two wheel or the skills challenge, I believe was won by Ryan. And no racing. Shocker there. Yeah. Shocker. And race, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and racing was actually won by Bryce Kinney. So good job, Bryce. Way to go, bud. All right. About time. Good job. Good job. And then recapping all the shows in recent past at Houston, we've seen some independents step up, man. I mean, one independent we're just going to go ahead and call it right now is uh, good old Corey Rummel in mm -hmm. the Rage truck. First of all, that truck is looking slick. 100%. And, and second of all, he's won both racing and freestyle now on this tour. Fellas, let's, let's hear it for Corey Rummel. What do we got to say about him, Austin? start with you uh well first of all you know i'm a sucker for team screen you know being from michigan myself and that's a homeboy home truck and everything so kudos to Corey and the team screen crew for keeping that truck 100 percent you know staying competitive but yeah man i mean first of all we all we all know that Corey and jim those guys are freestyle maniacs to a t so seeing Corey really kind of come out and shut everyone out in a racing competition i mean that that's awesome. I mean, really, really, really proud of that team and that guy and his driving talents and seeing him take the W in racing, for sure. No surprise there. And to my knowledge, Matt, I believe up until today, gosh, there were, let's see, we had the two weekends in a row there at Houston. Tom won both weekends, I believe, of overalls, if I'm right on that. Not just That's that, not right. Tom Tom also won that back in October when they did that first ever Monster Jam show back. Tom also won the overall there. So there's three overall events in a row for Tom Mintz. Matt, that's huge. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, to be able to, to sit out for as long as everyone has, come back, and then still continue to dominate, it shows that it just it ain't a fluke, that it's in his blood, and it ain't going away. There's a reason that he's called the professor, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, somebody was telling me that well, he's just in the zone right now. He's calm. You know, he doesn't have to worry about the truck. His crew chief, his crew, they've got the truck on point. But he's just driving super consistent. And uh, he's not going out trying to set the world on fire in his freestyle. But maybe from a fan's point of view, it does because he's just Tom Mintz. You know, he knows how to do Tom Mintz things. Uh, what else has been going on in Houston? Let's see. Did Jamie Garner win racing or, or one of the events, Austin? I believe he got... 
relatively, I don't know if it was skills or best trick or two wheel skill, whatever you want to call it. I know he got close. I'm not 100% sure. I don't have the stats with me at the moment. But J- the Gardner camp, uh, Jamie, I know Cole Venard of that team won racing one of the days. Um, but I don't know if Jamie That's won a right. competition himself. That's right. Cole won racing like two days in a row or something crazy like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And then, all right, fellas, you know just how tough this can be depending on where you're at in the U.S., whether you're up north or you're on the west coast, just how um, it hard it is to be able to get resources or materials for your trucks. And now we're in a time of, with COVID, you know, with the current pandemic going on and how hard it is to be closer to your resources um, imagine guys being in Houston for three weeks in a row, mind you, being the only Monster Jam tour out there, and these guys are having to drive at a certain level, right? Mm-hmm. They're not cranking it up a notch every show. Matter of fact, we saw Todd the Duke come out on his social media last week and say, hey, he was told in ear before going out for freestyle, they were all told to turn it down a little bit. Uh, we saw what? It seemed like racing the last weekend, everybody was crashing and burning in racing. It, it looked like freestyle, just a high-paced freestyle out on the track, Austin. I mean, dude, that to me, I would rather see a truck get rack and roll over in racing than trying to do something kind of ridiculous and unattainable in best trick or freestyle. So seeing guys really go head-to-head and battle it out and come out with really close racing. I mean, you, you saw Kristen's truck when she was battling out against Bari before she even hit the, the landing ramp. I think it was like a, a hydraulic line or the brake line or something let loose, but you saw sparks and fire come out from the front of that truck. But I'd rather see drivers put it all on the line in racing competition, trying to prove to the other guys on the roster, I'm here to win, I'm the best, and I'm coming after you, no questions asked, rather than just take it easy and try to gain some points over favoritism from the fans in best trick and freestyle. Very true. Yeah, I'm going to have to disagree with you there. As a crew guy, as a guy on the backside watching that truck, wrecking it so early into the show, because it is the entire event. You've got the whole thing to go through. Racing is the first of three events to happen that night. And to completely wreck it on the first one really sets the pace for the rest of the evening. Yeah. And you could obviously lose overall. And then, yeah. you know, lose the championship altogether over racing. Now, you lose, you lose, you win, you win. There's still second place. There's still points to be had. You know, I don't want anyone to go easy. I don't want anyone just to lay over and die. I don't want anyone to give up. But there's a certain point in time where... There's risk reward, and I don't know what was on the line for Kirsten and Bari, but as far as risk reward goes, that was not good. That was not good in my eyes, and I would not be too thrilled as a crew chief to see my truck basically need everything on the front end replaced so early on in the show, especially there was more shows that weekend. More shows that weekend. No, you're right. There's more shows that weekend, but that comes back into tying into what I was saying with the whole resource availability, right? So say they ju- they trash a whole front end or whatever they got to do to get that truck back. Okay, there's less material available for the next truck now. And Austin, yeah. you and I both know that first weekend out, Bryce Kinney goes up for a backflip, over-rotates the son of a bitch, and cracks the chassis, messes it up. And instead of repairing that truck, they had another truck on standby that they put the Mohawk Warrior body and tires on. And they let it fly because that was what they had available, you know, rather than the, the crew guys killing them still staying up all night, get that truck ready for the next day's show. It was easier to swap everything over. Sounds crazy, but those cha- most of those chassis anyways are, are transferable. You can transfer the seat over. You can transfer the body over most of them. Um, so that's what I'm talking about. This day and age, it's uh, they're doing everything they can, you know, to keep this tour running keep everybody happy, keep the fans happy, keep the sponsors happy. They're pulling out a lot of stops here. And to be honest with you, there's probably not a lot of profit on the side of Monster Jam right now. And that might be another discussion for another time. But I still can't imagine that they're walking away knowing that they're just, uh, you know, that there's going to be a future here in Monster Jam. What do you all think about that? Well, thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate you all taking the time out of your day to watch the very first episode 
of the Throttle Out Show. Believe me, there's going to be more to come from us. If you heard it first, you heard it here on the Throttle Out Show. Later on throughout the season, we're going to have some drivers come on the air with us, other crew guys. And if you wouldn't mind pressing like, share, and subscribe, at some point we're going to be doing some serious giveaways. Y'all better be paying attention. Don't be sleeping on us. Thank you for tuning in. See you around.